to my channel so for today's video i was supposed to do an unboxing but i actually cheated for today's video i was so so excited to get this bag because this is a fashion house that i have never ever owned a bag from if you know you know so little story time i actually purchased this bag through vintage um lv i've mentioned her before hatchie's paws hatchie's paws uh, I actually purchased a Toiletry 26 and a Toiletry 15 from her. I did videos on both. But I was like, you know what? This is actually a bag that I didn't think I wanted. And when I saw it on her live, I was like, I need it. I need it. I need to get it. So I purchased it um, through her on in her live. Um, she shipped it out like a couple days later. And then it got lost in the mail. Perfect. USPS. Thank you so much. So they lost it in the mail for a couple days and then they contacted me saying hey we have your package i was there right after work and i got my package so i had to open it i was so eager to open it because like i said it was it was lost in the mail so I'm like let me just check and make sure everything looks good so then um if something were to happen i could contact tet that's her name uh, and you know she could you know try to help me with the situation but luckily i was able to get my bag so let me share with you guys what I got. It's right here. It is the da -da -da, the Fendi pochette, pochette, however you want to call it. I call it the pochette. Um, Fendi pochette bag in Zuka print. And this is such a Y2K moment. I don't like these type of bags personally, but for some reason, this one just like, called my name. So this is the Zuka print. As mentioned, it is in very, very great condition and the print isn't light as typical like newer zuka prints but keep in mind this is a vintage bag so it comes like this it has fendi on both on the both metal buckle and it has the leather as you can tell it has been used and i have it in the last setting the previous owner i'm assuming had it like on this one because you know when i put it here it was very stiff so that's why it kind of looks a little warped like kind of indented because it was on the second one and i put in the third so it could fit perfectly in my arm so yeah it has the fendi logo as i mentioned and then it has the fendi little zipper all silver hardware this is the inside of the bag it says fendi there the metal part here is kind of tarnished but it's okay it's inside and then on the other side, it has the serial number. I don't know if you can see it on this side, but it is very faint. And then again, this is how the inside looks like. There is no zipper compartment, which is fine because I don't use it. It's just one big pouch. So the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys, because one, it is beautiful. Two, <laughs> it's a Fendi bag. This is my first Fendi bag ever. Since I've gotten it, I have been using it all the time. And three, I wanted to compare it to another bag that I own. This is my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. And this comes with the other pochette with the coin bag, the green khaki strap. So I actually bought this strap from a different brand, but it's basically the same. Just one is Zuka print and one is monogram canvas. But I just wanted to compare the two. As mentioned, this is vintage and this is more modern because this was this was released or what in 2020 so this is my Louis Vuitton one it has one compartment here and then it has this is the interior and then it has the gold hardware and the Fendi one has the silver hardware so I was obsessed with this one I was using this all the time when I would go on date nights or run errands I would use this for my mini pochette now this is this has taken over because like i said i've been wanting wanting a fendi super print something besides my makeup bag and besides that little pouch that i have i really love this one i was gonna purchase another one from tet and her live yesterday but i was like no i just i just bought this one i need to wait i need to wait a couple months before i buy another one but this is so beautiful this was actually 525 dollars oh it's so pretty I'm so tempted again that I get that she showed in her live, but it's white and annoying me, I'll probably dirty it. But um, something about this bag before I go and, you know, before I end this video, this bag, I notice 
kind of adheres to my dog's hair, which is annoying. Uh, I don't know if you can see any of it here, but like you kind of see like little things here, like a lot of like hair and stuff, like kind of like Velcro, it kind of sticks to the bag. So I kind of have to like take it out with my hand. But that's the only thing that I found personally annoying because with the canvas one, it's canvas. So it's, nothing's going to like stick to it. But since this is more of a material type of um, bag, it does kind of stick to it because my dog sheds a lot. So yeah, guys, this is my Zuka Prince handbag. Let me show you guys how this looks on me. And it's just so beautiful. I love it. You're going to see me rocking this all summer long. It's small. It fits a lot of things and it's perfect. This does fit my phone. This fits a lipstick. This fits my essentials, my keys, and my phone. I'm actually recording with my phone. It fits perfectly and I'm good to go. Like this is all I need. So I highly recommend it if you find a Zuka pochette. It is so beautiful. And this is very similar to, like I said, this pochette from Louis Vuitton. So... I recommend them so yeah guys let me know which one do you prefer do you prefer the canvas fendi or do you prefer this one from louis vuitton which one do you like better but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video as mentioned i'm so sorry it wasn't an unboxing but maybe the next one will be an unboxing but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>